that time of year, time to start thinking about your veggie garden. Here to share what we need to know right now, we welcome back gardening coach Tiffany Garner. Great to see you. Great to be back. Okay, the time is now. The time has started if you want to start your garden from seed. Okay. So it's a little bit of a flex to start your vegetables from seed. Sure. Uh, because it's not easy. No. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes a little bit of stuff that you have to buy. Okay. Um, and it takes room to put all this stuff. Right. Because yeah. we're not going into the ground immediately. Right. Yep. Okay. A lot of these things we start, um, they, they need to be started indoors before the last frost. So for instance, I've got my shallots and my onions going mm -hmm. here, and then my artichokes are already popping over here. That's so cool. These guys are already rocking and rolling. Yeah, rocking and rolling. And it just takes a few little ingredients that can be reused. So okay. your initial purchase, you're going to want to buy um, seed trays, okay. but you could also just reuse your six packs or your sure. four-inch pots from last year. Yeah. You're definitely going to want to buy one of these sturdy trays here. Okay. They come with and without drainage oh, nice. holes, so make sure that you are purchasing the right thing so when you water, you're not just spilling sure. water all over okay. your counter. You also really good to invest in a seed heating mat. Oh. So it's very specifically temperatured to keep your little seeds nice and warm to help them germinate. Yeah. These little guys need a lot of TLC they to get going. They need a lot of TLC, okay. and then these domes yeah. um, are very good for keeping the humidity in. And most importantly, you need a grow light. Okay. You cannot just put them in your window because they get super leggy and oh. sad. Okay. So um, uh, and then so just a seed starting. It's fairly simple. Once you get all your little bips and bobbles together, you're going to want to start with seed starting mix. Okay. Specifically, not specifically. just potting soil. Okay. Yeah. Because potting soil has fertilizer in it usually seed starting mix does not. Oh, interesting. And that's important because the seeds have all sorts of energy in them. Okay. And so they don't need that fertilizer we right We don't want to overdo it. That's right. One of the things though, one of the tricks about seed starting mix, it, it is very hydrophobic, oh. which means it, it will repel the water. What? So you have to think ahead. So you're going to fill your little tray like this and just kind of smooth it all around, okay. gently push your cells in. And so if I were to water this just off the top, you'll see it just kind of beads up and rolls right yes. off. Yes. Doesn't do anything. So what I do is I fill the tray, uh -huh. no drainage holes, fill that tray full of water, and let that sit for probably a couple of hours, and then it'll really? wick its way into the soil. Okay. Yeah. Then you're gonna go in with like a little chopstick or something and make your little holes in each little cell. Okay. And then you're gonna take your seeds and be careful when you open the packets because sometimes there is information inside. Oh. Secret information inside the packet. Top secret Top stuff. Top secret. So okay. keep, keep the packets intact. Read the fine print first. So you get your little seeds and you're just gonna put one or up to three seeds per cell. Okay, depending on what exactly you're depending growing. Depending on what it is, okay. depending on if you wanna thin them out later or mm -hmm. if you just wanna do one seed per cell, just okay. like that. And then you're gonna pop a little dome over it, just like this. That's I had, so cool. They're super great. It really keeps the humidity in there. Then you're gonna set it on your seed starting mat. Oh my goodness. And then you're gonna get a light. Boop, bink. Wow, and look you, at that. You wanna put it right over the plants. Right, right over, over them, like okay. inches above it. And then I hang mine on a chain and I lift it up as the plants grow. What? So that they don't, that's right. These and are high maintenance They're plants. high maintenance. Oh my it's goodness. It's not easy to start seeds. Okay. It does take a lot of patience, but it's kind of worth it in the end when I you I was going to say, so how long have you been working on all these that we see here already? Uh, these were started, the artichokes were started on the 25th, and the, the onions were started even sooner, about a week before that. Okay. Yeah. So you said this is like the real true yeah. step one if you really want to get into it. If you really want to get into it, you really need to do it right. And just by investing in the simple things, the lights, the, the domes, mm -hmm. it, it really does make a huge difference. Are there other veggies that this time of year, this season, is good to get a head start on? Yeah, there are a few. I have on my website a vegetable starting calendar. Okay. And it talks about which vegetables you should start from seed inside sure. or which ones you can start outside. Um, and so it is uh, just not a whole lot to start this time of year. Onions, yeah. artichokes, your brassicas. Okay. Um, and you can even start thinking about putting radish seeds outside. Okay. 
not ready. Just a thought, though. Just not a thought. Yet. Just think about <laughs> it. Just maybe go look for them. And if we can't do all this, it's okay. It's okay. We can buy the seed sprouted somewhere. Exactly. No one's going to judge. Nobody judges you. It's okay. I don't usually do this. I'm just doing it for TV today. This is very fancy. Uh, yeah, you can go to the nursery and just buy your Starks, and okay. it's going to be there. No one okay. will know. You Nobody can tell them know. you did it yourself. That's right. We won't tattle. No. Nobody knows. Nobody Great has to, to know. see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Always love being here. We'll have more information about Tiffany on our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. It's so good. Yeah. So